Hey everybody, welcome back to Food Deconstructed. I'm Adrian Bustamante, and this is our ultimate in college mashup foods, or broke mashup foods, if you will. It is a tomato and cheese infused ramen soup in a pepperoni and cheese infused crust bowl. We're gonna start off with our dough. Just like the previous recipe, we're gonna take our little ball of dough here, roll it in some flour, we're gonna cut it in fours. And four. Now this is for the bowls, guys. We're gonna be making our own little bowls out of these pizza doughs. So, this is how we're gonna do it. Take our rolling pin, we're just gonna roll this out, we're gonna make two bowls for you here, so we're gonna need four flat circular dough pieces here. And we're gonna show you why. Right, we're gonna make an egg wash, just a little water, a little bit of egg. So we're gonna egg wash one side here, just get it all washed up. This is gonna allow this side to adhere to this side. We're gonna add some special ingredients. And those special ingredients are gonna be some pepperoni, some mozzarella. Now, you wanna make sure that obviously you put enough in here to get that mozzarella and pepperoni flavor when you bite into it, when you're having the soup, after you're done with your soup later. But you also wanna make sure that you have a little space so this piece can actually adhere onto that piece. See what I'm saying? Now we're gonna take this one, egg wash this side, stretch it out, and try to evenly place it over the top. Should be nice, covered all the way through. There you go. Take our bowl, place it over the top of this. Try and stretch it down as far as you can, and if you can, you wanna take the dough and fold it underneath the bowl, because obviously, we're trying to make a bowl that is gonna be able to hold enough of our soup. That, everybody, is a pepperoni and mozzarella infused bowl. And then we'll move on to making our tomato and cheese infused ramen. Let's go on with this, we got water. We got tomato juice, a la tomato infused ramen. And then we're gonna have some chicken broth as well. We're also gonna throw a little Parmesan cheese in here as well. Turn up the heat, and wait for that to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we're gonna bring in our ramen and we're gonna cook it for three minutes. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the worldwide boiling time for ramen, three minutes. You pull out of the package, you put it in boiling water, three minutes. Okay, it's taking a little bit longer to boil, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to the seasonings. We're gonna add some onion powder, some garlic powder, and our seasoning packets from the ramen. This is beef. So we're doing a little bit of combination of beef flavoring with chicken broth, so we'll see how this comes together for ourselves. Like I said, this is the ultimate college mashup. I know most everyone out there has probably made this at some point. Whisk, tomato powder. So we have all these spices together. Just gonna whisk them together here. And just like you would with a normal ramen at home, wait for it to boil, put this in. When they're getting ready to get done, we're gonna put our spices in the boiling water as soon as we take it off the heat. Ready to go. We got a boil going. Now it's time to add our ramen. There's one, there's two. We're gonna throw a little cheese in there. So we got three minutes for that to cook, but while it's cooking, unlike you do with your ramen at home, I'm just gonna throw my seasoning in while it's boiling. There we go. Give it a little mix. Normally I wouldn't use a whisk, but that's what I got handy right now. Got a little over two minutes left here. Once this is done cooking, I'm gonna grab my bread bowls out of the oven, serve it up, see how this thing tastes. Ramen is ready. Our bowl is ready. So let's serve it up. Get a little bit of broth. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It smells more tomato-y, so I'm really interested to see how this is gonna taste. If I'm gonna have some pizza flavor, or if I'm just getting some tomato soup with some ramen, but We'll find out. We're gonna throw some herbs on top, some garnish. 
Got some oregano, a little bit of chili flakes, and got some basil. We're gonna ship an odd, fancy word for, I'm gonna roll this up and cut it. Ship an odd. All right, here we go. Let's see how this broth tastes. <laughs> Got a chili flake. It's kind of what I thought. It smelled very tomatoey when it was in the pot. And it's more of a tomato soup, tomato ramen soup than it is pizza, sadly. But uh, I do like this bowl idea. The bowl is amazing. When you get down to the bottom, where all that mozzarella and pepperoni is, it's probably gonna give you more of that pizza flavor, but I have to get to it first. So, overall, good dish. Sadly, just not as pizza flavored as I wanted to, but we'll see what happens in the taste test, huh?